My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the memorial of Our Lady of Fatima. Referring back to that miraculous apparition of 1917, over a hundred years ago, of which we hear so much, there were the, the, the secrets, the promises, the revelations, a lot of things around what happened at Fatima. And of course, to this day, there's even controversies around what happened at uh, Fatima, what uh, the church's response, where did they carry out the wishes of Our Lady of Fatima, so on and so forth. Today's reflection is not to, to bring all those things into, to, to bear. But instead, to recognize that the message of Our Lady of Fatima, the appearance of our Blessed Mother, was a warning, a warning given by God in mercy. God who desires not the loss of his children, but their salvation. So much so that he has sent his son. He has given the very gift of himself to, to open the doors of salvation to all nations. And yet, it requires a choice of our free will. We can choose to accept God's salvation or we can reject it. Now, in this light, most would not reject it. And yet, in our self-love over the love of God or our self-love over the good of others, we constantly, our sins are, either in little ways or in big ways, that exact choice to choose something else over God, to reject the salvation of God in choice of oneself, one's pride, or love over others of the world, whatever it may be. And yet, Our Lady comes asking for devotion to her. This is in the form of praying the rosary. We hear the, the Fatima prayer that so many add to the, the ends of the decade to the rosary. Uh, this, you know, there's the devotion of First Saturdays. There's all kinds of things. And all of this was part of the vision of Our Lady of Fatima was of the horrors of hell, uh, of the fact of poor souls constantly through the, the errors of the modern age. Of course, a lot of Our Lady of Fatima was concerned about the errors of Russia, of the communist threat. And we see that, sure enough, according to her words, the errors of Russia pervade to this day. They morph, they take different forms, but this atheistic, um, atheistic ideology that seeks to exalt the, the human being uh, above all else, and through errors that uh, are done in the, the words of kindness of charity, in fact, or a complete lack of charity, a complete absence of God and of love, and these have pervaded the world in so many of our current issues, even to this day in our country. And so the errors abound. The ideologies of the day abound. People follow. And yet, we're called to pray. And every time and every age to pray. Not just to avoid catastrophe, but to pray for ourselves, for our own families, to remain true to the Lord, but also to pray for the world. To pray for the conversion of sinners to pray for the conversion of those in error. Today's response, uh, kind of in the era of wokeism, is to shout down, to, through kind of the just of, of rhetoric, to call out those who are wrong. And while there's a time, certainly a time for, for correction and things like that, it contributes to a, a place in which no one was heard and no one is loved or respected. Sometimes all that there is to do is to pray. Our act of charity is to pray for conversion of those in error, but out of a sincere love, not passive-aggressive prayer like, I'm going to pray for you, but sincerely, I pray for your good. I long for your good. When we struggle, especially with, you know, whether it's politicians or someone else we can't stand, it's important for us to pray for them because that is how our heart is protected from falling into the same traps of anger, of hatred, of intolerance. We can have intolerance for ideas, but not people. And so, when we pray, our heart can be softened to still disagree, to still be frustrated, all that, but to actually sincerely seek the good of that person, recognize even in that person that drives us bonkers that they are also the son or daughter of God. All of this is in light of the stakes of the game. Our Lady of Fatima shows a fact that you know, hell is not something, a concept of an antiquated age. It's real. And souls are being lost, both through outward sin and through just being asleep at the wheel. And we bear responsibility when we contribute to that by being lukewarm ourselves. 
when we are praying for the age, for the world, our Blessed Mother asks us to be vigilant, for our families to be vigilant and faithful, but also to pray for everyone else because God does not want his children to be lost. And therefore, we must be on our knees and pray for the church, for the world, our families, ourselves. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us.